Hi, this is Bruce, and today we're going to be looking at part six of our progressive web app series. Um, and in this part, we're going to be looking at how we can cache images that are uh, not on our site. So we're downloading them dynamically, uh, in this case with the news API. So if you remember in part five, PWA is uh, caching the um, the headlines that we're getting f as uh, in JSON format from the uh, news API uh, website. Um, but the problem is, if we uh, just take it offline and then refresh, is that the images that come with the headlines are on the individual uh, sites. So we, well, we can cache the uh, JSON file so we can still see the headlines. Obviously, we don't have the images cached in our PWA. Um, so what we're going to look at is how we can manage to cache these images dynamically so that the images will show up even if we're offline. So I've duplicated the newsloader JavaScript that sends the request to the API um, and displays the uh, headlines on the page. Uh, has not changed. Um, and I've made a couple of small changes here, just updating uh, the, the cache name so there are no conflicts with, uh, with other caches. Um, so you can see here we've got, we're doing a uh, network and then falling back to a cache pattern. Um, but we're going to have to change this. What we're going to do is we're going to create a second cache. Um, so static um, information or static files are going to be saved in the, ori the original cache and then we'll save the dynamic uh, files in a second cache. So first thing we want to do is we want to see what the URL is um, that we're trying to cache. And let me just delete this and we'll upload. And then let's go and load part six. So you can see here, with the files cached, we're getting the URL of the request. So now that we know we can read the URL of the request, um, what we're going to do is see if it's from our local server or from uh, an external source. So we'll add a conditional statement here to see if the request URL origin is equal to our location. And then we'll create our response. All right, so fetching our request from the network, and if that doesn't work, so we're using a uh, network's first strategy, then we will fetch to see, well, then we will see if we have the um, files stored in our cache. And else, or else, 
Um, if they're not local, then we will store them in a separate cache. So let's upload this and see if it works. Um, so, so obviously I refreshed once and then you saw uh, that it uh, reinstalled and activated uh, the service worker. And now you can see that um, for the ones that are not local, in other words, the ones that are coming not from um, our site or from, the, from this site, um, then they're showing up here. And you'll also notice that none of the, um, the local ones are showing up. So we should be good for that. So now what we want to do in, in this case is to create a second response. where we are going to return. Oh, before we return, we have to open up the new, we have to create a new caches or we have to open up a new cache. I'm gonna call it image cache. And then we'll create that function to return the cache, matching any files that are requested. And then creating a promise uh, for the fetch. Checking the network response. And then putting those uh, images into or the, the files that are uh, not local into the cache. In order to do that, because we can only cache once, um, we're, we, what, what we have to do is we actually have to clone uh, the cache and then we can return the network response And returning the response, or the promise of the fetch, or the fetch promise. I just clean things up a little bit here. Okay, I think that looks good. So we'll save that and upload it. And then we'll refresh here. There you can see it's uh, updated and cached and activated. And now if we go offline, it's still not working. And this is not what I was expecting. I don't see any errors uh, in the console. Um, so if I come back here, ah, uh, yes. Um, so you can see here from the from part five, uh, I still have the conditional statement that if we are not online, um, then we're going to use a placeholder image. So let me just get rid of that and upload it and change this so we can make sure that we reactivate our PWA, our service worker, 
and there it is reactivated and now if we take it back offline there we go so now we can see um, that it, it does in fact work when we are offline um, we can see that we've got our static images cached in the PWA part 6 cache and we've got our dynamic uh, images as well as the JSON response cached in uh, our image cache here. Um, so this would not be a final or a production ready uh, solution. Um, we still have to uh, figure out how to delete um, unwanted images or images that are no longer in, uh, in the headlines and we'll do that in part seven. I hope this helps.